you know, I hadn't made this stuff up. I have not made this stuff up about making disciples who make disciples. Jesus, the Son of God, gave a command to go make disciples. In Matthew 28, he said, go therefore and make disciples. And it was the imperative in the Greek, which means it's a command. The Apostle Paul backed it up when he said, and the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit to faithful men and women, I would add, who will be able to teach others also. If there's this an ongoing exponential reproductive impact that God intends us to have. So is there another plan? Some people might be saying, well, is this something new? We've not heard of this. No, it's been in the book for over 2,000 years. The problem is we've just not done what Jesus said to do. So there is a legend which tells how Jesus went back to heaven after his time on earth. Even in heaven, he bore upon himself the marks of the suffering and the cross. The angels were talking to him, and Gabriel said, Well, Master, you must have uh, suffered terribly for men down there. He, I did, Jesus said. And, and said, so Gabriel, do they all know about how you loved them and what you did for them? Oh, no, said Jesus. Not yet. Just now only a few people in Palestine know. What have you done, said Gabriel, to let everyone know about it? Jesus said, I have asked Peter and James and John and a few others to make it the business of their lives to tell others about me and others still others and yet others until the farthest man or woman on the widest circle knows what I've done. Gabriel looked uh, very doubtful, for Gabriel knew well what poor stuff men and women were made of. Yes, he said, but what if Peter and James and John grow tired? What if the people who come after them forget? What if way down in the 21st century, people just don't tell others about you? Haven't you made any other plans? And Jesus answered, I haven't made any other plans. I'm counting on them. You think about that. 